Hi everyone, welcome. Today we're making vegetarian lasagna. Now this recipe was requested by one of my subscribers, just like you, Byron Chandler. So thank you Byron for requesting this. Uh, today's recipe, we are making our lasagna with a homemade marinara sauce. I'm going to be using lots of veggies and herbs to just make this so delicious. And then it's just jam-packed full of vegetables. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm going to show you how to do it right after this. All right, so let's go over our ingredients. First up, we're using San Marzano tomatoes. I got these at Trader Joe's. San Marzanos are imported from Italy. They are a variety of plum, and but they are much more intense in their flavor. They have less seeds, they are sweeter, and they are less acidic, so use those. Now I have my flavor base here for the sauce. I have some onions, some carrots, celery, and some mushrooms, all with the Rockin' Robin super fine dice. We'll need a little bit of red wine. I'm using just what I had in the cabinet. We'll need some fresh garlic. I'm using lots of cloves of garlic. Garlic is just part of my sauce. And herbs. Now this is really key. You gotta use fresh herbs in this. So I have some fresh organic thyme, oregano, parsley, and a nice big bunch of fresh basil. I didn't chop up the basil yet because it tends to oxidize very quickly and turn black. And so I'll do that at the last minute, right before I put it in. Now for our layers, well, first up we've got our pasta. So I went to Whole Foods and picked up some pasta that's no boil, which means you can lose the step where you have to boil the, the noodles and then drain them and then layer them out. I just wanted to avoid that, get no boil. These happen to be gluten-free and the brand name is Jovial. Now our vegetables in this, so I've got, I'm using zucchini, red bell pepper, and sweet potato. You could swap in whatever you happen to like it could be. I'm also going to be sauteing these to add some real nice flavor to it. Now for our cheeses, I have some cottage cheese here. I'm using cottage cheese instead of ricotta just because I see, I just don't really care that much for ricotta. I think cottage cheese works equally well. And our cheeses, I've got some mozzarella here that I grated up. I like to use uh, whole cheeses that I grate up myself so that I don't have to eat the mold inhibitors and the anti-caking ingredients that they put in cheese that's already been shredded. I'm also using some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano, which I'm just gonna grate over as I make the layers, and we'll need a little bit of salt. All right, so let's start our marinara sauce. I've got a frying pan here over low heat. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. Add some olive oil to the pan here. And we're gonna take this mirepoix that we talked about earlier, and we're gonna place it right in there. I'm gonna turn this up to medium heat, get it going. And we want to saute this probably about 10 minutes. I'm going to add a nice pinch of salt to this. So while our vegetables are cooking up there, we are going to take our San Marzano tomatoes and we're going to pour them without splashing into my blender. And we're going to blend those up. Now I turn the temperature back down. Once it gets going really well, you want to turn it down and you're going to be stirring this regularly. Okay, so we're going to take our blended tomatoes and pour them into a stock pot here. Now we'll go ahead and add a little wine to this, like I said. Probably just like a quarter cup, not too much. Now marinara sauce the difference between marinara sauce and spaghetti sauce, anybody know what that is? Well, the difference really is spaghetti sauce has meat in it typically, whereas marinara sauce just has vegetables. So I'm going to toss in the herbs to the tomato sauce here. So here I am chopping up the basil. All right, so let's add some of this basil to this. I actually ended up doing this about 15 minutes, which is not a problem. Longer is always better in my view when it comes to sauteing this. All right, so now it's time to add that garlic. We're gonna add that to the pan and just get that nice and mixed in. Let those flavors cook up a little bit and start to smell. I wish you could smell this. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Cook this for another minute, and then we're going to put this in our sauce, and the sauce will be done. We need to add a little salt to it, though, but we'll taste that. 
All right, it's time to add this to our sauce. Now we're gonna let this simmer for, you know, as long as we can, really. I mean, say another good half hour, 40 minutes. But I'm gonna put the lid on it because I don't want it to reduce down too much. I wanna keep the volume here. First, let me add just a pinch of salt. And then we'll give it a taste. Lordy, lordy, that is good. Mm. Okay, I'll put the lid on. And we're gonna let that simmer for, like I said, a good half hour, 40 minutes. Now don't get fooled by, when you go shopping for San Marzano tomatoes, make sure that it says certified and that they're from Italy because here's, a, here's an example for you. This is Mir Glen Organic and it says San Marzano style. These are grown in California. Now it's great they're organic but these aren't the real deal. So you want to make sure you get the real deal so you get the best flavor. So while our marinara is simmering away developing its flavors, we're going to start cooking our other vegetables that we're going to use to layer our lasagna with. So I'm going to use the same pan that I used the mirepoix in, no reason not to. I'm going to add some olive oil to this, let it get hot. And here I want a hotter pan than what I was using before. I kind of want to caramelize a little bit of this, get it a little bit browned. Carefully add these in. So we're just gonna cook these for like, you know, five minutes or so. That's about it. I'm gonna add just a pinch of salt to this. I'm on medium high heat. And we'll just let that cook a minute. All right, so you can see we've definitely got some caramelization going on. I'm gonna turn the heat off and we're just gonna let these cool down a bit while our marinara sauce continues to simmer. All right, everybody, it's time to assemble our lasagna. Everything's ready to go. We're gonna take some sauce and we're gonna place it in the bottom of our dish, just a thin coating so that the noodles have something to sit on and they will start to cook and soften up and they can absorb some of the moisture from the sauce. Then you take your noodles, your no boil noodles, cause who wants to have to boil them? They, this one fits right in there. I don't think they usually fit, but hey, these are fitting good. So I'm gonna put two in. Then we take our, if you're using ricotta, you can use that now. Or if you're doing like me and using cottage cheese, go ahead and just put a nice thin layer. Because we've got a lot of layers here and so we want to make sure we can fit everything into our dish. We're going to put just a little bit of mozzarella cheese, not a lot, just a little bit for taste. Parmigiano Reggiano, put a little sprinkle of that on. And then we're gonna go with our veggies. And again, you wanna just sprinkle these across. So basically what we're doing is two layers, two layers of noodles, two layers of veggies. Then we start back over with the sauce. Now, if they don't fit in your dish, just crack them and break them and fit the pieces in. Not a big deal. Now we're gonna finish it with another layer of sauce. And then we'll finish it. The very last thing we're gonna put on, of course, is the cheese. And we just finish it off. Now this time we're going to put a little more cheese than we did all the other times. We'll cover this with foil. Now unfortunately some of that cheese is going to stick to the foil. So usually what I do is this is going to go in the oven 45 minutes with the foil. We're going to take it out take the foil off and put it back in for 10 minutes. And when we take it off, if there's some cheese that came off, then I'm gonna add a little bit more and then we'll pop it back in the oven for about 10 more minutes after that. So here we go. 
So while our delicious lasagna is baking in the oven back there, I can't wait to eat it. Now would be a good time if you're interested in subscribing to my channel. Just click the button down below the video and the bell next to it. That will notify you every week when a new video comes out. And we're always cooking something delicious and healthy every week. All right, so I just took the foil off after 45 minutes and I'm putting it back in. I added just a little bit of cheese, but I'm gonna let it go another 10 minutes or so or until the cheese really kind of browns up a bit. Here comes our lasagna. Oh man, it looks delicious. It's got a nice golden brown on the top of the cheese. It's beautiful. We're gonna let this cool though. We gotta let it cool for at least 10 minutes before you wanna cut into it and try and take it out of the pan. Time for me to cut into this. I haven't really waited 10 minutes, but I'm anxious and I'm hungry. Wow, this is probably the best lasagna I've had in a very long time. This is so delicious. The sauce is what makes this. All those vegetables in there, the caramelization that we did to all the vegetables. And this is really delicious, guys. You gotta try it. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, share the video, and leave me a comment. Let me know if you have any recipe requests down below in the, in the comments. All right, we'll see you next time.